about Benjamin Buttons right here. Oh, Ben likes to spladle. He's going to go spladle. There he goes. Nice work. Go ahead, Nick. Take a shot on Ben. Let's just get, get the takedown this time. Maybe get to the cradle. That's nice right there. Nice show. Got a little late. Ooh, put him in the small package from Pro Wrestling. The Pro Wrestling small package. All right. We're live. We're live. Teach me grappling. Brian Peterson here. I'm back. It's Sunday, and I've got the wrestling boys out here. We're working on some wrestling moves, watching some brawls between Nick Lopez and Braden Smelzer right here. Maybe Ben will get in the mix in a little bit. Maybe maybe we'll we'll film that. We'll get a little <laughs> get a little picture of that. Guys, I want to show you guys this counter to a single leg that we're working on, and uh, hope hopefully it can help you with your training. Um, let's say I get uh, Nick here. Nick goes for single leg. So when you guys get a guy into a single leg, okay, obviously I want to sprawl. I don't want his head up in the up position right here. I'm going to move the guy's head and get my hips back. Push on the head. My left hand a lot of times is around here, around the waist. Pulling up on the waist, pushing down on the head, dropping my hip heavy on his head. Okay? Now, once we do this and we bury the guy's head, a lot of times, right now he's on two knees. Okay, so over here, John, you're gonna need to see this one. He's on two knees right now. As the guy's here and he's trying to charge forward, a lot of times this knee will come up, okay? When this knee comes up, he's using this knee so he can, or his leg, so he can push the mat and walk around to the right. Keep going, go ahead. And he starts to get an angle. If he's able to step in the hole over here, now I'm forced to fight with a wizard and he's gonna shelve the leg, he's gonna dominate me, okay? Me up. So, I don't like Nick beating me up. He doesn't deserve to do that. Okay? I'm gonna sprawl on Nick. I'm not gonna let him get that. Once he puts that leg up, I'm gonna bring my hand inside the thigh, across. So with my left hand that's here, I'm gonna bring it across. This is basically a spladle attack, but we don't always have to do the spladle. Okay? So once I'm here, guys, if I wanna lock to make it strong, because I don't want him to sprawl, and then I lose the leg, go ahead and kick your leg. Like if I lose the leg, I could end up out of position. So I wanna be here, I'm gonna lock my hands. It's important, palm down, right palm up, push off your feet, pull his leg and drive my knee towards his head as I'm walking around. I've got him crunched up. He's, it looks like I want the spladle position. The spladle would look like this. I'm gonna reach down, grab onto his heel, pulling his heel up, I drop him on his base or on his, uh, the side of his hip and now I'll push off my feet and step between the legs and go for the splayle. But instead of doing that, which is kind of funky and advanced, you don't have to do that. All you have to do to get some good control on, on a lot of guys, a little higher percentage, instead of going for the big home run, just get the base hit. I'm going to pull the leg. As I go here, I could go to the heel or I could just keep the lock. As I drive, I'm sprawling. I break his hip, I break him down to his hip, and then I bring my hips forward so his head popped out. Go look what happened. His head popped out. He still has a single leg. It's so hard for him to get up, try to get up. It's really tough, because I've got that leg in the air. I'm gonna put my right knee under his leg and shelve this leg up on top. As I limp on out, I've got my right arm in deep. At this point, Wrestling-wise, you could step between the legs if you like, or you don't have to. We're gonna go towards the cradle. If the guy flees the position in a wrestling match and goes here, I'm gonna, he's given up the takedown. I keep my arm deep. I go over the head and I start running towards the head, bringing the knee towards the head. Okay, so I can lock my hands, put the guy on his back, and pin him in a wrestling match. If you guys are doing jujitsu, you can just use it for control. So one more time, and then I'll have the boys practice it. Go ahead, hit the shot. I bury the head, push it down. Notice the leg is up. Why is it up? Because he doesn't want to be passive. If he's on his knees too long, I'll be able to break his downs, or, or excuse me, break his lock, and then work myself behind. I'm terrible with words this morning. 
push it on the head. He's trying to hustle. He's driving. Greg, he's working around. I bring my hand inside. I lock. Once I lock my hands right here, I've given him my knee a little bit so that he, he you go ahead, suck my knee and try to drive. He has no drive. See how I lift his leg? I can drop him down on his hip, okay? Start to walk around. As he keeps my leg, that's fine. I can shove my arm in deep and then look for the cradle. If it was jujitsu, pretend you're a jujitsu guy now. Go ahead, get to your guard, boom. You're on top, you got the top position, okay? So once you do that, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna break his balance, you're gonna put him on the bottom. One final time for me, and I'm gonna let you guys drop. Hit real quick, go, pop. Run, 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 run. Okay, right there. All right, boys, come on over. Let's get some reps. You want to do it? You want to do it? Go. Let's get some good reps. Nice, guy puts his leg up, lock it up, break his balance. Keep walking around. You can hit Splato, but instead, let's just get this simple takedown. Nice. Very nice. Go, break his hips in. Push it up, go. Pushing it down, get inside lock. Oh, our lock, switch our lock. Nice, make sure we have the proper pump foam. Good, nice, try to shove it up on the right hip. Good. Very nice. How about Benjamin Buttons right here? Oh, Ben likes to splatle. I think he's gonna go splatle. There he goes. Nice work. Go ahead, Nick, take a shot on Ben. Let's just get, get the takedown this time, maybe get to the cradle. That's nice right there. Nice shelving. Got a little late. Ooh, put them in the small package from Pro Wrestling. The Pro Wrestling small package. All right, guys. Hope you guys like this uh, counter to a single leg. It's something I really like a lot. Our boys are starting to practice it and work on it so we can pull it off in the competitions. If it helps you, uh, please try to click that link down below at Patreon and PayPal. Try to help me, and I'll give you guys more next time. Thank you so much. Enjoy your weekend. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Later.